1945, my great-great-grandfather, serving in the army, wondered when he'd get to go home to his wife and the son he'd never seen. He got his wish when the U.S. ended World War II by dropping atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The world awaited Armageddon. Instead, something miraculous happened. We began to use atomic energy not as a weapon, but as a nearly limitless source of power. People enjoyed luxuries once thought the realm of science fiction. Domestic robots, fusion-powered cars, portable computers. But then, in the 21st century, people awoke from the American dream. Years of consumption led to shortages of every major resource. The entire world unraveled. Peace became a distant memory. It is now the year 2077. We stand on the brink of total war. And I am afraid. For myself. For my wife. For my infant son. Because if my time in the army taught me one thing, it's that war, war never changes. Changes. You're gonna knock him dead at the veterans hall tonight, hon. You think? Absolutely. Now get ready and stop hogging the mirror. Right. Hey, my turn, big guy. Did I mention how much I love your new hairstyle? I have the best hairdresser, I swear. Such pretty eyes. I think Sean has my eyes. Sean totally has your eyes. Sweetie. You like my nose, right? Such a cute nose.
Yeah, I like that. You have such a cute chin. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that works. Gorgeous. That looks nice. I still got it. Thanks, Codsworth. Of course, Mum. Our government has bullies too. Wow, really? That's right. Which is why we've huh. the wisdom. More of the same. 
Grognak the Barbarian and the Jungle of the Bat Babies. <laughs> hey, hon. We should take Codsworth to be serviced soon, don't you think? Now, oh, sound like someone made a stinky. I shall attend to young Sean. <laughs> I know we were nervous at first, but I'm glad we got Codsworth. New Coca-Cola. Ice cold. Looks like the milk got delivered. Enjoy your coffee, Mum. On the island of Mamba Chow, the nights are cold, unseasonably so for Southeast Asia. But for the Fifth Infantry, that's as comfortable as an autumn jamboree. Uh, it's that salesman again. I don't know why he keeps bothering you. Good morning, Voltec calling. Vault-tech? Remind me again. Why, we're about you, ma'am. And helping secure your future. You see, vault is the foremost builder of state-of-the-art underground fallout shelters. Vaults, if you will. Luxury accommodations where you can wait out the horrors of nuclear devastation. You can't begin to know how happy I am to finally speak with you. I've been trying for days. It's a matter of utmost urgency, I assure you. Then I'm glad I opened the door. Oh, me too. You have no idea. Now I know you're a busy woman, so I won't take up much of your time. Time being, um, <laughs> a precious commodity. I'm here today to tell you that because of your family service to our country, you have been pre-selected for entrance into the local vault. Vault 111. But I have a family. You can fit us all, right? Of course, of course. Minus your robot, naturally. In fact, you're already cleared for entrance. It's just a matter of verifying some information. Don't want there to be any holdups in the unforeseen event of <laughs> total atomic annihilation. <laughs> Won't take but a moment. The apocalypse? Well, hell, sign me up. <laughs> <laughs> That's the spirit. Now, let's see. Wonderful. That's everything. Uh, just gonna walk this over to the vault. Congratulations on being prepared for the future. Um, thanks again. Hey, it's peace of mind. That's worth a little paperwork, right? For you and Sean, no price is too high. <laughs> Good answer. I have my moments. Hun? Wow, look at you. How a guy like Sean me ever gets so lucky, huh? But he absolutely refuses to calm down. I think he needs some of that maternal affection you seem to be so good at. <laughs> Go ahead, honey. I'll be there in a second to help, okay? My boy isn't giving his mother any trouble, is he? Hey, I fixed that mobile on his crib the other day. Why don't you give it a spin? That's my boy, on his best behavior, just like his dad. Well, most of the time, anyway. Listen, after breakfast, I was thinking we could head to the park for a bit. Weather should hold up. Yeah, sounds like fun. Sir? Mom? You should come and see this! Codsworth? What's wrong? Followed by... Yes, followed by flashes, blinding flashes. 
sounds of explosions. We're uh, trying to get confirmation. We seem to have lost contact with our flight stations. Oh no. We do we do have we do have coming in. That's um confirmed reports, I repeat, confirmed reports of nuclear detonations in New York and Pennsylvania. My god. We need to get to the vault. Now! I've got Sean. Let's go. Residents of Sanctuary Hills, if you are registered, evacuate to Vault 111 immediately. Vault participants, this way! situated in your new home. Vault 111. A better future underground. So we just... Yes, up the stairs. I can't believe it. If we left a minute later... No, no. We'd all be. Don't get caught up thinking about that. You're safe now. Everyone, just head up these stairs and through the door there. Vault Tech is here is for you. All new residents, please proceed in an orderly fashion. Way. Welcome home. Just this way. This one's good. Step over to the table and take a seat. Female. A little high, but okay. Welcome. Pick up a suit right over there. Here you are. Just good. step Head over down to the, the hall table. There. Right over there, please. You'll need your suits before we can take you further. Thanks. What now? Just follow the doctor here. He'll show you where to... Excuse All me. All right, you three. It's down Follow the hallway me. right there. Hey. Just this See? way. This is our new home. Oh, you're gonna love it here. Take a vault This is one of our most hall. advanced facilities. Not that the others aren't great, mind you. It's gone. Our home. Everything we had. My Ma mother and father down in D.C. How long do you think oh, we'll honey. be down here? Oh, we'll make? be going over all I that in orientation. Just a few the medical items we have to get through first. It's a good fit. Just, just checking everyone the off the list as they come in. as well as comfortable. Prepared for the future, right? Just hey. step in here and put your vault suit on. Just step into the The pod will decontaminate and depressurize you before we head deeper in the vault. 
Now just relax. Time for a whole new life. Resident secure. Occupant vitals normal. Procedure complete. In five, four, three.
Where is everyone? that's left. Did anyone get out?
Codsworth? As I live and breathe. Oh, it's, it's really you. Codsworth, what happened to the world? The world, Mum? Well, besides our geraniums still being the envy of Sanctuary Hills, I'm afraid things have been dreadfully dull around here. Things will be so much more exciting with you and Sir Bat. Where is your better half, by the by? They came into the vault. Maybe you saw them. They had guns and strange outfits. Mm, only Miss Rose's boy running around in his Halloween costume more than a week early. I swear, the nerve of that woman leaving her brat unsupervised. Ah, oh, not like you, Mum. You're the perfect mother. <laughs> and Sir is, uh, uh, where is Sir, by the by? He can't be dead. He can't be. I'm in a dream. I'm in a bed. You're saying these terrible things. I, I believe you need a distraction. Yes, a distraction to calm this this dire mood. It's been ages since we've had a proper family activity. Checkers, or or perhaps charades. Oh, Sean does so love that game. <laughs> is is the lad uh, with you? He's it's gone. worse than I thought. It. Someone took him. You're they stole my baby. Induced paranoia. Not eating properly for two hundred years will do that. I'm afraid. <laughs> two hundred years? What? Are you sure? A bit over two hundred and ten, actually, Mum. Give or take a little for the Earth's rotation and some minor dings to the old chronometer. <laughs> That means you're uh, two centuries late for dinner. <laughs> Perhaps I can whip you up a snack. You must be famished. What? Food? Yeah, sure. I. I need a minute to think. Then I'll be right back. 